Welcome to Natty's Crafts. I'm Natalie. I always do all the crafting. And today we are going to use a few items I got from a local middle school sale. And then also a, a couple items from Dollar Tree per usual. And just see what we can make. I, I have some ideas. Not sure how it's going to work out. So it, it I don't know what you're going to see, honestly, at this point in my life. But you'll see something. So go ahead and give the video a big thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Be sure to subscribe. When you subscribe, you should hit the bell so that you know when the next video comes out. So let's go ahead and go take a look. So first we're gonna make a tray using some wood rulers, a Dollar Tree sign and Dollar Tree drawer pulls. I got 33 wood rulers from a middle school sale down the street from my house and I picked out all of the ones that were the same. These are all Office Depot rulers. So what I'm gonna first do is I have to take off all these stickers because the back of the ruler is what I'm using because the back is blank, of course. So I'm just heating up the little stickers and tags and everything, heating it up and then they come off very easily. I ended up not needing to sand any of the gook off or use any kind of chemicals, literally just use the hairdryer to warm up the glue and take those off. Then we have to get the sign ready, and we're just gonna take off that ribbon hang strap string that they've got. And then, of course, this is from Dollar Tree, so of course there's 46 pounds of glitter that we do have to remove. We don't have to remove it completely, but just enough so that the rulers can stick to this side of the board. So I'm just using a sanding block from Dollar Tree and just gonna get as much of the glitter off as I can without working too hard, because I don't wanna work real hard at this. I want this to be easy. And then once I've got the glitter off, I use my little handy vacuum. If y'all don't have one of these, you need to get one. I think they're like 10 bucks or something. They are so helpful. They pick up all the glitter. And then we're gonna have to cut down the sign, because the sign is more than 12 inches long, or tall, whatever. Uh, so we're just gonna make a line at how long we want the board to be. You do want your board to be a little bit smaller than your ruler so that you can't see it basically is the idea. So I'm just gonna measure and make a line. We want this to be super even. And then once we've done all that, I'm gonna get out my little Dollar Tree cutting boards that I have taped together. And we're gonna cut off that piece that we just measured out. And I'm just gonna use a straight edge knife, the Dollar Tree version, and just gonna cut along that line that I made. Now these rulers have the little metal piece at the on the side of the ruler. So I was trying to use that to try to guide, but my hands are not steady enough, I couldn't do that. So I just need to use my eyeballs and just look and see where to cut. And so if you cut this many, many times, that same line many, many times, it becomes weak enough where you can then kind of bend it to break it. And then on the back, just cut off the paper that's connecting it. And ta-da, you've got it perfect. And then we're gonna flip it over and then cut off any of the little scraps that may be hanging on for dear life. We're just gonna take those off. I'm not gonna sand the edge or anything like that. All we're gonna do now is we're gonna attach the rulers to the sign. Now, of course, the rulers are not gonna be exactly the same. Each of them are not gonna be exactly the same. They're very similar, and so, you know, you could, you could probably make it work no matter what, but what I did is I just grabbed a bunch of them and I picked out the ones that were a good pattern that I liked, because they are wood, so you can see the wood pattern, and then also those that were the straightest, because there was one or two that had like a little bit of a curve to them. And I'm just gonna use wood hot glue to glue this down. You could, of course, just use regular wood glue. I didn't find that to be necessary, so I'm just using my wood hot glue. And you just wanna make sure there's a little bit of overlap on all three sides of the ruler. The top, bottom, and the outside. You want just a little bit of overlap. And then everything beyond that just needs to get glued next to the one to the left of it. Or I guess if you're going the other direction, it'd be to the right, I don't know. And then the last one on the other side, same thing, you just wanna ensure that there's a little bit of hangover on both sides or all three sides. 
And once we're done with that, then we're gonna put on this little drawer pull that I got from Dollar Tree. We're gonna put one on each side. I'm just trying to figure out where I want it. The screws, of course, are way too long for this very thin tray. So I'm just using hot glue. Obviously, you cannot pick up this tray from these handles. That is not what these handles are for. They are simply there for looks. Uh, but I do like the way they look, and so I was fine with just hot gluing them. If you have some sort of magic to make the screws fit there, then, you know, I'm all about it. And that's it. Like, that's it, guys. Like, that's it. You glue some rulers to a board, and you get the cutest tray. Look at how adorable that is. I love it. And it's, you know, it's 12 inches long, so it's big enough to actually put stuff on it. And next, we're going to make a candle holder. And I bought this candle. I think this, I don't, I don't know. It, I think it's a Yankee candle, but it doesn't look familiar, so I don't honestly know. Um, but I don't, you may say, well, why not just buy a candle holder from somewhere? Well, I don't know, because again, I like to make stuff. So I want to make it, and I want to make it the way I want to make it. So that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to use this little cone toy. I don't remember what these are for. And I was just trying to figure out how I'm going to make it work. So I decided just to use one and just to have it flat. I'm going to spray paint it with this metallic spray paint from Rust-Oleum. And it will turn out like this, which is bronze. I did also spray paint a piece of cardboard, which is going to go on the bottom of this. You do not need to spray the inside of the little cone shape thing because we're not going to see that in any way. So I am just going to take my hot glue and run a strip all along the outside edge of that cone shape. I should probably figure out what it's called, but you know what I'm talking about. And I'm just gonna glue that down onto the cardboard piece that I painted. And then on top of that, I'm, I'm going to also put a little round piece of wood for my candle to sit on. And again, just hot gluing that. I did turn it upside down to make sure I put it in the middle and then just get my candle ready. Just take off this sticker telling us what kind of candle it is and it fits and so that's the part that mattered. Now I grabbed this little circle. I think this is probably from Dollar Tree, one of those lawn things, signs that said like happy spring or happy summer or whatever. And I'm painting it black because the, all the colors, it was just too much for me. I couldn't, I couldn't handle it, even though it would be covered by the candle. So first I painted it black and then I added just a bit of gold just to give it a little bit of swirl of something. You're not gonna, again, you're not gonna see it much because the candle is gonna sit on top, but just in case you do see it, I want it to look pretty. So I'm just randomly swirling around some gold paint on top of my black. And that's it, so simple, so easy. It just gives the candle a little bit of a statement makes it stand out a little bit more, not just a simple candle, but more of a statement. I thank you so much for stopping by Natty's Crafts today. I sure hope you could give the video a big thumbs up, leave a comment down below, make sure to hit the bell, and subscribe. You should subscribe first, and then you should hit the bell. That's what you should do. Um, and hit the bell so you know when the next video comes out. And I do appreciate you coming by, and I sure hope that you can appreciate today as tomorrow is never promised. Thanks, y'all. Y'all have a great one.